Hi there, my name's Roald. Welcome to M Games. This is episode one, Funnel Frenzy. Let's check out the contestants. In white, we've got the feather in blue azure, the rose is in red, the bomb is in black, rubber duck is yellow, and the shamrock, of course, in green. We'll start them off on a relatively easy course. There's several moving objects, there's a few funnels, and leading up to the finish line is a snake structure. The rules of the game, six players, six episodes, one season. The player who completes the course first wins the episode. Any players leaving the track will receive the same finishing time as the last player to finish. Finishing times are added up and the player with the best overall time wins the season. And they're off. That's the bomb in the lead. And it's closely followed by, oh, he's been overtaken by Shamrock. And now in first place is Azure, who's been overtaken by Rubber Duck. Azure takes the lead again, followed by the feather, followed by Rubber Duck. All right, it's Azure in the lead. It's Azure in the lead. Still followed by the feather. This is proving to be a one-man race. It's Azure full on in the lead. The feather is gaining. It's gaining. It's going through the funnels. This might be just down to the funnels. It's still Azure in the lead. Still Azure in the lead. It's still Azure going into the final funnel. And now the feather has overtaken him. Down the snake. Down the snake. And across the finish line is the feather first. Azure second. The crowd goes wild as Rubber Duck finishes third. And in comes, in comes the Shamrock followed by the bomb. What a fantastically spectacular, exciting race. With a very last second overtake by the Feather. Amazing. Now where's the Rose? The Rose has got some time to make up for. There's the Rose across the line in 101. This episode's winner, the Feather. In second place, Azure. Third place, Rubber Duck. Last place, the Rose has got some time to make up for. This has been M Games. Please like and subscribe. See you next week. Hi there, I'm Roald. This is M Games, Episode 2 Global Sand Race. It's gonna be an exciting one today. We've got a race at night solely on sand. It's gonna be a tricky one for our contestants. Let's check out the rankings. Last week, the Feather came first, followed by Azure. The Rose came in last and is nearly 13 seconds behind. Nice aerial view of the, um, the finishing pit there. Yeah, look at that scenery. The rules of the game, six players, six episodes, one season. The player completes the course first, wins the episode. Any players leaving the track will receive the same finishing time as the last player to finish. Finishing times are added up, and a player with the best overall time wins the season. And they're off. It's the Shamrock in the lead, followed closely by the Rose, who's got some time to make up for, and it looks like it might just do that, so this episode. The Rose is in the lead, followed by the Shamrock, followed by Azure. It's the bomb in last place, who might be overtaking the Feather. The Feather and the bomb are fighting out for the last place, while in the first place is Shamrock, followed closely by the Rose, followed by Azure, followed by Rubber Duck. It's still Shamrock in first place. The Rose catching up, that was a bit of a lull in the track there. Come on, come on the bomb. Let's see you, let's see you, come on. Shamrock still in first place, followed closely by the Rose. Rose has overtaken him. The Rose, the Rose, and has suddenly hopped in the lead. Look at that immense lead it's taking on. Come on, come on. Oh, and the Shamrock is catching up. It's a close race, it's a really close race today. The Rose has suddenly sped forward. Amazing, look at the speed, look at him go, look at him go. And the rest of the competitors are out of sight, nowhere to be seen. The Rose is in sole first place. Amazing, amazing. But will it be enough? Look at him go, look at him go. And it's across the line in 112, amazing. Followed by the feather, and there's Rubber Duck. And we're just skipping to a bit of a replay because as we were following the rows, it looked like Azure was going off track. Oh no! He's getting the same finishing time as Rubber Duck. It's a sad day, it's a sad day on Team Blue. That's what it is. This episode's winner, The Rose. Followed by The Feather, followed by The Shamrock. Rubber Duck in last place, Azure did not finish. Overall rankings, The Feather is still in first place, followed by Azure. The Rose hasn't actually made up that much time. I'm surprised. 
This has been M Games. Please like and subscribe. See you next week. Hi there. My name's Roald. Welcome to M Games. This is episode three, Turbine Turbo. As you can see, we've set up a bunch of turbines around the track to send our contestants flying across this bright green track. Let's check out the rankings. Still in first place, the Feather, followed by Azure. The Rose, still in last place, despite having won the previous round. Uh, I'm so excited about this track. Look at that crazy contraption. And since we're not relying on gravity, we can have the audience right on the side of the track. Look at how excited they are. The rules of the game, six players, six episodes, one season. The player who completes the course first wins the episode. Any players leaving the track will receive the same finishing time as the last player to finish. All finishing times are added up and the player with the best overall time wins the season. And they're off, they're off. Not as exciting as previous, but look at them float up and, and there go, there they go, there they go. Oh, and it's Azure taking the lead, followed by the bomb, is that the bomb? them go into this crazy ball-like contraption. There they go, and it's the Rubber Duck first, followed by Azure. Rubber Duck in the lead. And there's Azure, Rubber Duck passing through the next turbine, followed by Azure, followed by the bomb, followed by the rose. It's still Rubber Duck in the lead, followed by Azure. There goes Rubber Duck, there goes Rubber Duck. Oh, and he takes off, followed by Azure. Through the next bend. Up to the next turbine, go, 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 there's the rose and there's the bomb, what happens to the bomb, what happens to the bomb, oh now it's a rubber duck first across the line, followed by Azure, followed by the rose, but what has happened to the bomb, let's see if we can see that in replay, who's the next, there is the bomb, that's a slow pass across the line, what has happened there, there go, it falls flat on his face and then comes Shamrock, is he gonna give the bomb that little nudge just to get him into the turbine? There he goes, a little tap and he's off. Oh no! Oh, Shamrock selflessly sacrificed himself there. Oh, and the feather gets stuck in the first bend. No! Both the Shamrock and the feather did not finish. But the rubber duck finishes first, followed by Azure, followed by the Rose, who did really well the last two races. Look at that. Azure first place, rubber duck second place, the feather has dropped down to third place, but the Rose is still last. What an exciting season. Oh, this has been M Games. Please like and subscribe. See you next week. Hi there, my name's Roald. Welcome to M Games. This is episode four, Powdered Peaks. This week, we're on location in the Barren Sea and we've set up a track on an iceberg. Let's check out the rankings. Last week was exciting. The Feather going down to third place, Azure in the lead with Rubber Duck in second. The Rose still last, but gradually catching up to the bomb. Today should be exciting. The audience got a great view of the finish line. Look at them. Can't tell if they're excited or they're just shivering because it's cold. The rules of the game, six players, six episodes, one season. The player who completes the course first wins the episode. Any players leaving the track will receive the same finishing time as the last player to finish. Each episode's finishing times are added up and the player with the best overall time wins the season. And they're ready to go. And they're off. The bomb in the lead, followed by the feather, followed by the rose. The rose is overtaking the bomb. It's followed by the feather. The feather is in first place now, followed by Shamrock, followed by the rose. The rose is overtaking them both into the second bend. The rose still in the lead, followed by Azure, followed by the bomb, followed by Rubber Duck. The feather in last place. No, it's the Shamrock in last place. It's the rose still in first place as we tumble down this track. The rose in first place, followed by Azure, followed by Rubber Duck. What is happening on the snow here? They're flying all over the place. Azure has overtaken the rose for the first place. Rubber Duck is having a go at it. The rose is overtaken. Oh, it's leapt back into first place. Clever use of the track there. It didn't last long. It's been overtaken by Rubber Duck. Rubber Duck has been overtaken by Azure. Azure, who's now hurtling down the track towards the finish line and is across the line, followed by the rose, followed by Rubber Duck. And then it's Shamrock and the feather. And what happened to the bomb? The bomb has bombed. Can we see that? What's happened here? Going down the track, going down the track, and oh, oh no. 
Oh no, it looks like the bomb just, just stopped. He just slowed down and, and, and stopped. Is he gonna get any further? No, the bomb did not finish. Oh, what a shame. Uh, are, are they at the bottom of the sea? Has anyone fished them out? Ah, oh, they have. Right, so it's Azure in first place, the Rose in second place, Rubber Duck third. The bomb didn't finish and receives the same finishing time as the Feather. Let's see what it does for the overall rankings. It's still Azure in first place, still Rubber Duck in the second place, the Feather third place, and the Rose, the biggest surprise of the week, fourth place with the bomb coming in last. This has been M Games. Please like and subscribe. See you next week. Hi there, my name's Roald. Welcome to M Games. This is episode 5, Christmas time. Now instead of a Christmas tree, we set up a marble run. We decorated it though, and it looks like Santa has already brought some presents. Last week, we saw Azure in the lead, Rubber Duck in second place, and the Feather in third. The bomb fell down to the sixth place. All the times are pretty close together, so heading towards the end of the season, it could be anyone's game, really. All right, look at the audience, look at them go. Are they wearing Christmas hats? They're wearing Christmas hats. Wait again, the spirit guys. The rules of the game, six players, six episodes, one season. The player who completes the course first wins the episode. Any players leaving the track will receive the same finishing time as the last player to finish. Each episode's finishing times are added up and the player with the best overall time wins the season. And they're getting ready to go and they're off. The Rose in first place, the Rose in first, overtaken by Azure. Down the second one. Rose in first place again, overtaken by Azure again, and the Rose in first place again. There you have it, down the ball, let's see who clears that first. Oh, and it's Rubber Duck down the hole first, while well, the rest is still dealing with the ball and the Christmas decorations. Rubber Duck in first place, already made it down to the second ball. I wonder if those Christmas decorations are going to be any nuisance at all. Who's that in second place? It's the Rose, the Rose in second place. The bomb in third place. And what's happening with the Shamrock? The Shamrock is taking a cheeky shortcut and he's leapt into first place right there. The bomb is still navigating the ball and the feather is, is kind of stopped there by a Christmas ball ball. It's the Shamrock down to the third ball, followed by the rubber duck, followed by the rose. And there they go. Oh, oh, they kind of get stuck there. Did, did rubber duck just get stuck? Anyway, it's still Shamrock in first place. He's speeding down the last bit of the track and across the line in 106. Well done, well done. Followed by the Rose, 110. Followed by Rubber Duck, who apparently got himself unstuck. That'll be the last of the rhyming I do this week. The Feather across the line and the Bomb in fifth place. Now we're just waiting for Azure. Sorry, one last one then. The stockings are hung by the chimney with care, but I don't see Azure anywhere. Ah, it's because he flew off the track. Well, Azure didn't finish then. What a setback. Look at the proud winners on the podium. It's the Shamrock in first place, the Rose in second place, Rubber Duck in third, Azure didn't finish and receives the same time as the bomb. The overall rankings? Rubber Duck has overtaken Azure for the lead. The Shamrock has worked his way up to third place and the Feather has dropped down to fifth place. The bomb's still in last place, but all the times are fairly close together. This has been M Games. Please like and subscribe. See you next week. Hi there. My name's Rolls. Welcome to M Games. This is the episode we've all been waiting for. The season finale, Champagne Champion. Let's check out the rankings. Last week saw Rubber Duck in the lead with Azure a close second. The Shamrock, the Rose and the Feather all competing for that third place. The Bomb, it's a bit behind. Might make up for it this week on this classy, classy gold and white and black track. Did I see a cheeky little looping? Ah, should be a fantastic one today. The rules of the game, six players, six episodes, one season. The player who completes the course first wins the episode. Any players leaving the track will receive the same finishing time as the last player to finish. Each episode's finishing times are added up and the player with the best overall time wins the season. And we're just waiting for the start signal and they're off. Immediately is the bomb in the lead followed by Shamrock. Shamrock has overtaken the bomb but is being held back a little by the wicker track. The bomb takes the lead. Shamrock's in the lead now, the Rose in second place, and suddenly from the back there's the Feather hopping into third place. Shamrock in first place, the Rose in second place. Shamrock is stopped by the corkscrew. It's Feather down the cog first, followed by the Rose, followed by Rubber Duck. In last place it's the Bomb, but there's no surprise there. 
Going into the first funnel, rubber duck in first place, rubber duck clears the funnel first, followed by the feather, followed by the rose. There's the shamrock fourth place, he's gaining some speed, he might just overtake one of the first marbles. Rubber duck flies into the second funnel first, but it's the rose who clears it first, followed by the shamrock, the rose through the looping, and he bounces onto the golden track, and he is across the line in 50 seconds, well done. Rubber duck in second place, followed by the feather, followed by the shamrock. Now we're just waiting for Azure, who's cleared the track in 59 seconds, and the bomb 103. Well done, guys, what an exciting season. Look at the crowd losing its marbles. They love it. They love it. They're jumping up and down, having a fantastic time. It's been a great season. Fantastic. Let's, um, let's have a look at the times. There we go. The Rose cleared this track in 50 seconds. That must be a record. Rubber Duck, three seconds behind, which obviously means Rubber Duck wins the season. Azure came in second, the Rose won the battle for third place. Let's hear it for our contestants. Shamrock, the Rose, the Feather, Azure, the Bomb, and Rubber Duck. Rubber Duck, you absolute beast, you legend, you winner. Fantastic, well done. This has been M Games. Please like and subscribe. See you next season.